Well, with the August primary election approaching, one highly contested race in northwest Missouri will be the District 12 state Senate race. That's a district that serves part of 19 counties. Our Clayton Anderson has more on the three candidates for the Republican primary. Three candidates, all with state representative experience, are vying for the District 12 state Senate seat, a seat previously held by Dan Hegeman. Now candidates are looking to stand out before the election. Dellis Johnson from Country Club served as a state representative until 2018 and is now looking for a Senate seat. As a former St. Joseph Fire Captain, he says he knows the district and touts his conservative voting record and ability to be effective and lead in the Senate if he gets elected. Well, I will certainly vote conservatively. Uh, you know, the only bills that I would basically stop would be something that would impede a, a gun ownership right to a law-abiding citizen. I would stand up and filibuster those bills or any bill that perhaps destroyed life. I would filibuster those bills. I'm endorsed by Missouri Right to Life because of my pro-life beliefs. Jay Eggleston from Maysville is just coming off of two terms in the House where he served as a chairman for the Rules Committee, among other leadership roles. He says he is looking to go to all corners of the district and try to fight for the district in Jefferson City. I have been given the responsibility of chairing or vice chairing five different committees. I've carried lots of pieces of legislation from improving our gravel roads to sticking up for law enforcement, uh, improving the tax code. And, uh, and of course, organ donation related legislation, which is a very personal thing to me. Rusty Black from Chillicothe, who recently served two terms as a state representative, plans to be a voice for the district and provide common sense legislation and put agriculture in a high importance. He is looking to fight for an appropriation seat to ensure that the state budget is dedicated to the region. How do I expect that uh, I'm going to try to be able to continue to communicate with everyone? And it's pretty simple. I'll work at it. Uh, there are 58 ag programs inside this district. I was an ag teacher and I was a leader within the ag teacher organization. And there was a difference between what people in Rockport wanted compared to what people in Chillicothe wanted. For a complete preview of the primary, read the print story on newspressnow.com. Clayton Anderson, News Press Now.